First of all, hello, this is Ahmed from uh, Mina Tech and Gulf Business. I would like to introduce Ms. Fida. She's Vice President and Head of Marketing and Communication uh, in Middle East and Africa. Uh, hi, Fida. Hello, hello, Ahmed, and thank you for the opportunity and for hosting me. Of course, no problem. Uh, let's start off with the first question. Please introduce yourself and Ericsson in general. So my name is Fida Kibbi, and I am the Vice President for Marketing and Communications at Ericsson Middle East and Africa. My responsibility spans from being responsible for marketing uh, for Ericsson in the region, as well as communication, corporate communication, sustainability, corporate responsibility. And I am also, uh, I have a team who is responsible for the government and industry relations for Ericsson in the region. Uh, now, uh, uh, Ericsson is a is a uh, the leading, uh, I would say, you know, company who is uh, driving uh, digitization in partnership with the communication service providers in the region, uh, as well as globally. Uh, 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 Ericsson is the innovator uh, behind the, uh, you know, many of the uh, information communication technology solutions and products uh, around the world. Uh, our journey uh, started in uh, more than 140 years ago, uh, innovating and driving uh, uh, the you know game-changing, I would say, technology and services that uh, you know that are easy to use and that had uh, an, a major effect in transforming the way we live as individuals, the way we conduct our business and the way we uh, you know uh, uh, create positive change uh, for society we we our role our purpose is to create technology uh, uh, for good uh, that aims to to really you know reimagine a world uh, that where you know a limitless connectivity can create uh, limitless possibilities for the people how have ericsson been working with companies around the world to help them digitally transform Look, uh, uh, digitization, I mean, it, it's, it, uh, it's a big uh, word, I would say. It's a big theme, right? And uh, it's something that we have been, um, you know, uh, experiencing as consumers, but also as businesses, um, uh, you know, and it has been creating massive transformations, uh, as I mentioned before, to the way we live as consumers with every 4G that is, uh, you know, launched in the market, uh, the way we live is uh, being transformed. The way we interact with each other is uh, transformed, as well as you know the way now we conduct business. Uh, we have, of course, in order to do that, we sit. We have a, a huge, you know, R and D uh, investment, uh, you know, around uh, in in um, uh, you know in our R and D department. Uh, we. Uh, with the aim to to really you know come up with the innovation that will drive this or accelerate this digitization and we work very closely in the market uh, with our, with the consumer with the uh, communication service providers the the mobile operators to you know enable that in the hands of the people and the businesses and the enterprise uh, 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 and now with 5G, we see that there is a huge opportunity for digitization to accelerate even further. And what we say that uh, digitization has never been accelerated and has never been fast as it is as we see today. 5G, the power of 5G is not only to transform the consumer experience uh, with, you know, uh, for example, uh, now, uh, you know, the way we connect with each other on high speed, download and upload you know capacities uh, the way you know we we will start to play games for example the way we will start to shop it's going to be completely transformed with the technology of 5g and we started to see it becoming a reality already but the power of 5g is not only with consumers this time as uh, 4g did but it's also to transform industries like the manufacturing industry like the healthcare industry, the transportation industry, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, oil and gas industry as well will be transformed massively. And this is what we are, you know, uh, now talking about, what we are showcasing uh, in our, you know, participation around the world in, uh, in, in uh, the leading events like the LEAP event. Uh, and this is what uh, we, we believe this will create big opportunities. We present those opportunities in terms of 
how what will it bring as efficiencies to the enterprise uh, what will it bring as innovation to the enterprise as you know new innovative business models but also what will it bring you know to uh, you know to the to the people as new business job opportunities as well as we know with such a young and digitally savvy population with the growth opportunities like what growth opportunities do you see for especially KSA? You know, Saudi Arabia uh, uh, is, is um, we all uh, agree that it is, you know, one of the leading, uh, uh, you know, uh, countries in the adoption of technologies, in the uh, launching of new, you know, technologies, uh, always, you know, seeking to be at the forefront. And, and you know, Saudi Arabia is at the forefront of the technological advancement. And this is driven as you well said, Ahmad, by the young population that we have in Saudi Arabia. We all have seen the numbers of, the, you know, YouTube, uh, for example, uh, uh, you know, viewers uh, from Saudi Arabia taking the lead in many, many cases and so on and so forth. So, so this is what makes Saudi Arabia, the young population of Saudi, the high demand on connectivity and the innovation that comes within the talent that we have also in Saudi, the, the you know, the... Um, the, the, I would say the hungerness to to really, uh, you know, uh, uh, show how the talents of Saudi Arabia are very different. They are, you know, playing a key role uh, now in driving the KSA Vision 2030 uh, as well, as well as the support they are getting in order to drive that, uh, you know, that that through. Uh, you know, I would say with Industry 4.0, which is, uh, you know, under the umbrella of digitization that I talked about before, we will see more of that coming into place and coming to life in Saudi with a great vision of Saudi Arabia 2030 and the support that the government is giving to the different initiatives to encourage entrepreneurship minds, to encourage, you know, the local innovation, to encourage the young people to, you know, to uh, to contribute, I would say. This is, uh, we will see massive, uh, I would say, breakthrough that will come from Saudi. Great. Next question. Why did Ericsson choose to partner with Leap? That's a great question, right? Um, I would say, you know, the, the when we, uh, as marketing and communication head, you know, we receive regularly many proposals to participate in, uh, in events, but Leap, when we when we first engaged to or we 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 met to to discuss Leap, it stood out as a platform um, globally as well as uh, regionally. Uh, Leap is very important for Ericsson. Uh, it is the the you know the I would say the platform that will connect us with the industry players, with our partners in the industry, and as I mentioned before, the power of five G is to discuss and enable an ecosystem in the industry to leverage the, the benefit and the value that 5G connect, uh, technologies like 5G, IoT, or the cloud can bring. And in order to create that dialogue in the ecosystem in Saudi or globally, Leap comes to provide that platform where you can connect with industry players, where you can where we can connect with the with you know our partners in the industry and, and trigger this dialogue onto how can new technologies like the Internet of Things, like the cloud, like the 5G, and what are the opportunities that those technologies will bring? Uh, so, so this is how, what the power of, uh, you know, of, of plat strong you know, uh, platforms like Leap can bring to us. And we are very much looking forward to our participation. We are going to showcase, uh, we, I mean, I, I, from, from, from uh, this platform, I invite you know, uh, everyone to come and visit us. Uh, visit the Ericsson stand uh, I, without, you know, killing the element of surprise. But we are going to showcase our latest breakthrough innovation in the field of technology. And, uh, you know, uh, whatever what I have mentioned before in terms of enterprise digitization, in terms of consumer changing, you know, lifestyle uh, powered by 5G will all be, uh, you know, uh, as part of our showcase uh, in uh, on our booth in, in at Leap. And we will talk more about it in our thought leadership as well and in the engagement that we are going to do. Uh, also, you know, you will see some of our leading partners also standing with us and demo demoing with us. So 
So I hope that I didn't ruin the element of uh, surprise for us uh, at uh, at Leap. But we are very very excited uh, to uh, for the end of the month uh, and. Uh, and I hope uh, that, and I'm sure, I'm confident it will be a great uh, pl event and successful one. You're welcome. Uh, that's it. Thank you for being with us today. And looking forward to see you at Leap, of course.